Bowie just phoned me up. I think it proves that he's always very actively looking for people he wants to work with, with the right voice, the right tone that match his work. Waiting for something. And record covers was the thing that attracted me to design. It was because you could create it, a universe. You had the music, but to control the visuals around the music was incredibly important as well. I'd say this is a complete, unique, creative voice. So I think he understands that. And I do believe he worked in design a little bit when he started out. So he, he understood the value of, of the cover and controlling all the visual aspects. I did look at the previous album covers and I thought, Possibly things were becoming too complex and I wanted to take you down to what basically an album design is, which is a picture of the artist and the title. And with David Bowie, it's, you're in a pretty unique position. He's one of the few musicians that people know without saying his name. You know David Bowie when you see a picture of David Bowie. So to make a cover that had that fresh simplicity and directness I thought was quite important here, so that's why I took his name off the cover. And the thing that we did on the album, which uh, there was a lot of discussion about, was put the title upside down. A primary discussion with the distributors who worried that people weren't, wouldn't know what way up the album was. But also that to go along with the directness of, of the cover, um, saying very directly that um, a heathen is somebody who's anti-establishment. And actually, you know, a heathen is a symbol, it was a symbol of David Bowie at that time, who was discontented with the world he was seeing around him, but also Symbol of him as an outsider as well, which I think you know, it's the role he's had through his career, really. And I think what Dave Bowie does is he summarises that feeling of being slightly outside for people who don't want to move too much outside the mainstream. He isn't something which everybody will get, and he isn't a point of view which everybody has, and yet he has this mass connection with people. It's very interesting. The inspiration for the defaced paintings came from a real image I saw in a conservator's book, which had a real Rembrandt that had acid thrown out. And it was an amazing image because it's a, a sacred object, Rembrandt, is you know, high culture, and somebody had thrown it and tried to destroy it. So it was a sacrilegious act, almost. And it seemed to be a way of talking about the idea of heathen um, and the two sides of it, the beauty and the violation in the world. Personally, crossing out text is about existence. You know, you have existence and you're embarrassed by your existence, so you, therefore you cross it out, which may sound a very abstract way of talking about it. But, um, you know, as a typographer, you are trying to understand how letter forms make themselves known in the physical world. And also, the album existed in a world where the internet is, and if you want lyrics, then they are there on the internet. So you, you can play with legibility and illegibility and things out of focus, that's often how people hear a song. So the crossing out was to make it a little bit difficult to, to read. Um, the Spiral um, was actually about the process of lyric writing. Um, and I'm sure people who got the app didn't realise any of this, but it doesn't matter. It's a, it's a place to start, you know, from a creative source, so the spiral is about taking uh, meaning out of your soul and externalising it. So I was really glad that we did get a vinyl version just because uh, it's a wonderful format, it's absolutely physical. If you look at the size of it, it's like a Russian icon painting and the process of listening to an album, you have the record cover there and it, there is an element of worship in it. You cover you, the music, and there's some kind of golden energy triangle created. It's seven o'clock on Tuesday, the 8th of January. And uh, talking of culture, we have a cultural event of our own coming up. The first new track from David Bowie in 10 years. It will be released at 7.15 and you'll hear it here. It is David Bowie's 66th birthday today. And guess what? He's released a new single, not something he's done for quite a while. So how did you work with Bowie on this one? Well, the cover for Next Day was basically done in total secrecy. That was the, the order of the day for it. 
and everyone wanted to keep it a secret because it's such a fantastic thing to drop on everybody on Bowie's birthday. Because um, we knew this album was happening and there'd been a lot of conjecture about whether your date was ever going to do some music again. Um, so nobody wanted to spoil the surprise. For instance, in the studio, me and only one other person knew about it. Uh, when we had a phone call about it, I had to go outside and talk. Uh, the emails, we couldn't mention the album name directly in case they were intercepted. Um, and in this time, it's, it's very difficult to keep a secret, but we managed to do it. What I think is unique about the design of the, the new album cover the next day is, is really the reappropriation of um, Heroes, uh, the Bowie album from Berlin. Heroes really is the iconic Bowie album. And to do something like put a white square on it or cross out the title, we felt was almost sacrilege, but that that really is the point of contemporary pop music. It spits on the past. However, with Bowie, it's, it's slightly different because the album, that album cover is such common currency. It has so many layers of meaning. It's not just about that. It's about he's living with his, his history. The songs are much more reflective and because he obviously he's a little bit older now. He hasn't done an album for 10 years. There is some aspect of looking back on the past and one of the songs particularly refers to, to Berlin. So all that was going on in the cover. And then there's, of course, the other aspect is that he's always identified with his past and people always compare every single music, uh, every single album that he's produced, um, with what he's done before, so he's never free from it. So there are all those layers of meaning uh, going on in the, in the design. Some people have called it lazy, but actually, you know, it took a long time to get to something which is ostensibly quite simple and actually, I think, quite daring.